Hi, welcome back to my cup of TV. I'm Jenny. And I'm Erin. And we're here to watch... <gasps> RN. Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. <sighs> June. Uh, yeah, so Indigo is out. We are reacting to Wildflower. I loved the fact and the name of it. Yeah. And then how he described the song I shared it on Instagram because I thought it was very beautiful what he said. How did you describe it? I would have seen your story, but no, I, I don't always pay attention. No, I can't remember. I would have to look. I just remember thinking, oh. Do you know what it makes me think of? Just knowing how poetic and stuff RM is. Wildflower being like something beautiful, but you can't contain it or control it. Do you know what I mean? Something that's free. Yeah. And you can't control where they, they grow. And wildflowers can grow like in meadows everywhere. Or on the side of the road. Yeah. It's they will creative. blossom and grow regardless. Yeah, it's creative and adds beauty in the darkest of places. Yeah. Um, uh, I know in the comments people will ask about an Indigo album listen. Of course, we would love to do that. It's just finding the time when we still haven't done yeah. Jack in the Box and Proof. And it's just... I need more hours in a day and days in a week. But they need to be weekend days and weekend hours. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, at some point, yeah. we can, but... Because I know that we've seen a lot of talk online that it's, you know, you listen to it all the way through, it's really telling you a story or taking you on a journey. Yeah, a lot of thought-provoking yeah. stuff, and I think about maybe quite a lot of pain yeah. that people hadn't realised that he'd been in. I don't know, JD mentioned something about um, him having done his growing up in the spotlight yeah. and that can't have been easy um makes me glad he has music even if it's not music he releases but writing music yeah. as an outlet I'd be interested to know how long he's been writing or how long he's had some of these songs for yeah whether it was okay now i'll write them all or he'd written bits of them and then gone back yeah to them i think he has discussed like the album though and he's done a lot of interviews and things lately yeah. i've been trying not to it's see very things difficult. Yeah. very difficult and i'm seeing a lot of talk uh online just raving about this album it's going to be lyrically beautiful yeah i think is it's just going to be poetry yeah so i'm very excited and also even nervous i don't know Part of me thinks that if he has been in pain, it bursts a bit of a bubble. I know that sounds very selfish. I know what you mean. When we've been watching and enjoying, was it secretly not good for you? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, was yeah. it hurting him? Or just the idea that he's been this, like, pillar of strength that, you know, we're always like, we trust in our own. Yeah. We, you know, will take his lead and... So we've pressure. yeah we've lent on him and maybe yeah put too much pressure on yeah so I don't know yeah it's like being I say being in a relationship we are in a, a relationship of a sort with him yeah in that fan idol thing of when you hear someone is in a relationship and then someone breaks up with them and they're like oh, I was happy and I thought we were happy and now I find out you weren't happy was everything that's happened a lie. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I don't think you'd ever want us to feel like that because you can't, you, you know, you have to take the veneer off at yeah. some point if it's not true. But, yeah, I don't want it to, like, take anything too much. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'd be happy for him to be honest with us if yeah. he was just like, actually, I'm having a tough time at the moment. I need a break or I need you to do, th you know, whatever you need. Yeah. We got it. And as long as... Well, it's like with them taking the break yeah. at the, the festive dinner. It's like, yeah, it hurts to think of you not being there all the time. But if it's what's best for you... Yeah. 100% support that. Yeah, they have to live for themselves yes. as well. And if we feel like that relationship has been strong enough, they'll still be there for us. And we'll still be there for them. Yeah. Oh, no, I've got the Friends theme tuned away. I was thinking the same. Oh! <laughs> and 
I feel like he would have thought he'd, that he'd too. Get it, yeah. yeah, he'll get it. But yeah, I wonder why this song for an MV first. I don't know. And will there be more MVs or just this one? Yeah. I did see, um, cause then, J-Hope, I tell you, he's like, J-Hope is the king of spoilers, spoilers on Instagram. And, and he posted, I think about this one and then another one. And he said like, this one is my favorite. Yeah. Do you know what though? I've seen a lot of people posting which ones are their favorites and I couldn't name them because it's not like the same song no. is coming up every time. It's so many different ones. Yeah. So. I wonder if it's going to be one of those collection of songs that you'll listen to all of them but there'll be one that you feel like was written for you yeah for your own experiences yeah one you really identify yeah, with. yeah like this this is my song yeah okay all right all right over to you right so uh yeah in the comments please let us know what's your favorite song on indigo and What's the other thing people need to do? <laughs> Thanks, Jim. That's the one. Okay, oh, yeah. let's go. <laughs> oh, so do we know anything about Eugene? 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 I don't know. So again, please put that in the comments. Who is Eugene? Will we like their stuff? Which ones would you recommend? Any other important info we need to know about them? Yes, please be our Google. Yeah. <laughs> it's Armypedia. Yes, Armypedia, much better. I always want that to be more of a... Yeah. These lyrics are really, yeah. Oh, I like that thing. Flower work. The colouring is gorgeous. So what's going on internally? Oh. Beautiful. Just let go. 
standing by Well, ain't it close and I'ma go through up some shit And don't tell me I gotta leave someone I try to kill the children, bless you up some me Wow. For such a sad song, it was just beautiful. It was so gorgeous. I think what broke me wasn't a lyric, actually. I think it was when he was on stage mm. performing, and it was like, that's what he was doing. And then it switched to him just being, like, free. Yeah in the field and I was like I could feel like the ache of pressure yeah and I just want him to oh (laughs) (laughs) it's Um, so hard to get so emotionally invested yeah um it's so I've never sat and like up until we started doing any of this. Yeah. Cried because I've never cared so much. And yeah, it's about so, an artist. Right? And it's so weird to get so invested in someone's pain that I like to think he's already had and has come, I hope, out the other side or started to yeah. go through because he's got to a place where he can write about it. Yeah. Oh. I should have worn mascara today. <clears throat> Where's our box of tissues? Oh, yeah, I don't have any. Oh, um, no. But stop, because I'm getting wet eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I felt you going as well. I could, I'm gonna. I'm quite good at holding it, but if you keep talking, I'm going <laughs> to... It's the um, problem is I always talk and then I end up breaking my... You, yeah, you write yourself oh. worse. Um, so... I'm trying to remember some of the things I thought during because I didn't want to talk too much during because I was really reading all those lyrics. But there was a bit when he said that his past was, or in his past was poetry. He started, it started yeah. as poetry. But did you notice when he did that line, it like, it went a bit echoey. And I thought it's like, like it's a memory. Well, I suppose, I wonder if like as a child, if that's like what he... So, but you know when you just feel like that line sounded yeah. different and it sounded a bit like echoey, which makes me think of that kind of, the, it's in the back of your mind, a memory. Yeah, if you think about it, it's like, how, yeah. how did I get started? You remember like sitting there writing a poem as yeah. a child and yeah, that could be. But him talking about, It was very much a, you have this dream, and then once you get there, you kind of think, is this what I really wanted? Is this how I imagined it? Now what? If like it consumed him yeah. and who he was. Yeah. And you have it, but you sometimes want to be on the outside looking in at it. Mm. And there's going to be those times when you think, was it worth it? And was this exactly the right path for it? Yeah. Because if it was, say, like, poetry, 
that he'd wanted to do, he could have had a very different yeah. career, but it may not have been as far-reaching of an audience, as lucrative, yeah. he wouldn't have had his brothers. And I think when you've had a dream like this and started out as BTS did, you have this drive and fight because you're happy to fight for it. So once you don't have to fight anymore, do you know what I mean? Like the adrenaline wears off and it's a, now what? You start to see some things for maybe what they mm. they are rather than they're like, I must have this. And you think, why must I have this? Well, I think he's even said, didn't he? Like I dreamt, the fame that I kind of dreamt of is now my shackles or something like that. And it is because there's so many things they can't do. Yeah. Just it's... normal things that we would take for granted. A relationship. You know, just... How lonely must that be at times? Yeah. To be in a position where you're surrounded by so many people. But... You can't... Because whilst yes, friends and everything, there is something different. Yeah. About being in that one person that's yours. Yeah. I mean, not saying he doesn't have that. We we no. don't know. But even if he does, it's still gonna have. It's not gonna be the protection you need to feel for yeah. that person and the risk you put them. And even as a celebrity, that is allowed to have relationships in the public eye, it's still not the same as, say, like, your relationship yeah. because you haven't got to worry about no. a lot of the stuff that they do. No, not at all. And as the leader of the group, there's that added thing on him. Oh, my goodness. If we cried. Oh. I know what you're going to say. How did the others feel about that? Did they feel guilt that they should have known or done more and I'm sort of saying they should feel guilty because they shouldn't no. or that they should have done more because I'm sure they were doing plenty but you're always going to have those doubts when someone says and did they know did they, did that he was they... going through it at the time do you mean Can you stop because <laughs> you okay this is what I do I always talk I seem to get more and more upset mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I made you guys sad. Oh, I know I did this. On you did this on Jay's video. I you made everybody sad. I make it so much worse. I'm so sorry. Mm. This is how my brain works. Uh, Eugene, beautiful vocal. Uh, oh, sorry. It was beautiful, and you know what? You could feel the emotion in her voice. Do you know what I mean? It felt like it was. Um, calling him like yeah. almost like a siren like calling him back to that like calm to find himself I think yeah like you something trying to bring you back home yeah to not saying who you used to be but who you now want to be and yeah. are it's almost the good bit in a sense about them yeah. going into the military is that I like to think they will get to have some normal experiences and he will just be yeah he won't be our own he will just be him yeah I hope although as much as once they're all done with military I want to see them on tour and everything I'm also a bit like so you've done all this stuff as BTS and individually for army, then you go into the uh, into the army for your country. Like, where do you do something for you? Do you know what I mean? I'd like to. If they said, "Wait another year, I want to go and do this," absolutely. Do you know what I mean? I struggle enough when I look at my like calendar, and I'm like, I don't have any time for me to just do what I want to do for like however many weeks and yeah. whatever. I cannot imagine thinking like right. And then for the next couple of years, I'll do this. Yeah. And then I'll have that when I'm done. 
how do you find the momentum to keep going mm. knowing that there is no end date for it but also you don't want there to be an end yeah and he was saying you know about that he said stuff about the end and um my grave like is that like how he'll be remembered oh i love the term flower work yeah i think there's so much more and i want to truly ingest yeah. the lyrics the mv was the beautiful coloring the tones of it and then that whole section where it was obviously his inner thoughts of the turmoil oh, the like storm the around slam. him oh. yeah yeah, we also saw him walking around in a beautiful, almost like outwardly, I is, look at peace, but inside I've got all this going on. Or is that where he's trying to get to? True, yeah, that could be it. I did see something that someone said online, that the fi- that you know the firework bits, yeah. they weren't CGI, that's a real thing. Yeah, where he was with all the like embers around him. Yeah, yeah. I saw something about that. Is. But I couldn't look at it properly because I didn't want to yeah. like, see it's too only, much. Yeah. It's only because someone that I follow had mentioned yeah. that. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah. I could just watch him walking around those wildflower fields. Yeah. With that dampening light. You know when the... So she came on the chorus with the flower wax and he walked up that... The shot was like walking yeah. up a little hill. I don't know why. It reminded me a bit of like the Lion King. Like that's his like little pride rock and he's walking yeah. up and he's... To take his place. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm I, not okay. I also think that artists must have many songs that they write to get their feelings out that maybe they don't share because they're too personal and i think that one it's that's a really vulnerable song to let us in on to say yeah like like we were saying you know you don't want him to have suffered suffered because it dampens our experience in a sense but it also is so relatable to yeah. know that because I think everyone, or at least people that I know and from my personal experience, you can have some of the greatest experiences of your life. Yeah. But you can also have so much suffering in those times too and having yeah. those parallel, all those Emotions, polarizing yeah. feelings is very difficult and especially if it like such big events like big successes you it's very difficult to turn around and say to someone and say i'm actually not that yeah. happy because you look i'm grateful well there's always going to be that person going well you wanted to be famous yeah so what are you complaining about it's not... and i feel like they did they wanted to successfully share their music they didn't yeah. need to be idolized yeah it's like when people talk to me about doing youtube like, oh you want to be like a big youtuber i was like I want this to do well and I'm enjoying it, but I don't want to be famous. No. I don't want that. It's nice to have a platform to talk with people yeah. and share stuff. And I think that's for them and for him what he's wanting to do. Yeah. He has a passion and he's wanted to share it. And it's very sad that you can't do one without the yeah the other. God, I see why people are um, yeah. and you know what raving about this. Well, the other thing is that we all have a habit of putting our own, especially mental health, second. Yeah. To other people, like I know between us two, if you were having a terrible time, but I was having a terrible time, and you phoned me and said, "Oh, I need to, I need to vent," I would be there, no question. I'd be like, yeah. "I can deal with my shit later." And you would do the same for me. 
because that's what people do yeah so it does not surprise me for him to be like actually this was hard but I put it to one side to do what I needed to do as a member of BTS as the leader of BTS or for the guys even though they wouldn't have wanted him to do that and put himself second you know it's not even just for the guys it's for everyone that's, that's worked I mean. a hype yeah. as well isn't everyone it? Like, works on it a lot of success with vibing yeah. on on them and do you know what I'm used to RM's hard rapping style and but this was very melodic it was very gentle it was really nice really I don't know what it was word. it was a sad song but in a sense it soothed me to know that he could say this stuff yeah and that he was willing to share it and wanting to share it with us and I always said it, there are certain songs that BTS have done that I'm like, it's too sad for me to listen to. Yeah. And I struggle with them. That song was sad. But it felt like it had a real purpose for me. Yeah. And I will quite happily have that on. Yeah. I might shed a tear, depending on what mood I'm in, depending on how much I get <laughs> in my head about it. But I want to hear it again. Yeah. And I want to see the lyrics. And I really want to feel them. Yeah. I feel like it's the kind of song that I'm going to have on my headphones. And I will zone out. Because I'll be thinking about RM. Yeah. I'll be thinking about how he felt. And, you know, it's it's not a song you're just going to have on in the background. You're always going to hear it and go, oh. And you're going to think about it. But again, that is also a great thing in itself. It gets you thinking about... Yeah. how you feel how people around you feel and that and I have learned this the hard way that getting the thing that you maybe think that you want mm. doesn't make the pain go away yeah and that's a hard when, when this happens when I'm successful when I'm this yeah. everything will be okay it's not there's always something <laughs> because those feelings don't go anywhere no. unless you deal with them did you say this was the second to last song yeah so I wonder if this is him starting to process it mm. I wonder what the last song is like and oh my god if it's going to go like chronologically or process wise I'm already broken for the first song or Maybe that's why this is the one he released with an MV. So if this is the one you hear first, you're like, I'm okay. Yeah, it's like, spoiler alert. Yeah, we're, I went through some stuff, but we'll be okay I'm with okay. it. Come, we'll, we'll, let's talk about it, but just... It's a bit like if okay. something bad has happened and you phone someone in the middle of the night and you start the conversation with, I'm okay. Yeah. Or everyone's but, okay, but... but <laughs> yeah. This is his caveat track. Oh, RM. I love you. If you are ever just needing a hug, RM, you know where we are. And there's two of us who will definitely fit around those big broad shoulders. Yes. Hugs make everything better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that was our reaction to RM's Wildflower. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Are you looking for Christmas gift ideas? Here are some cute K pop merch. They are perfect gifts for your friends, your family, and yourself. They offer worldwide shipping. They have a very wide selection. They have amazing prices and sales. Great for everybody. You can support me if you use the link in my description to buy these awesome K-pop merch. Thank you so much.